Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera Change, I'm a beauty photographer and retoucher based in the UK. Today I have for you a quick overview of my retouching workflow that includes the use of retouching panels from Retouching Academy as well as color grading panel from Infinite Color. I will link all the links in the description box below so you can go have a look and read more information about them after the end of the video. Having retouching panels and action collections has definitely no downside. It can speed up your retouching workflow and make it much more enjoyable. However, it doesn't mean you need to use them all the time and for every step of your workflow. The beginning of my workflow is the same as usual. I'm starting with duplicating my background layer and cleaning on an empty layer using a spot healing brush, healing brush and a clone stamp tool. My favorite actions and scripts to use from panels from Retouching Academy are definitely Magical Skin Tone, Glowing Skin, Magic Smile and a Hair Highlight. I also use Solar Curve whenever I need to clean the background or I'm retouching products. From the new MUA retouching panel I tend to use a contour and the four local color correction tools for skin. These have been particularly helpful and I like to use them in my workflow all the time. I will show you how later in the video. From the last Retouching Academy panel I tend to use mid grey layer and a stamp layer shortcuts as this retouching panel is for free, you can download it from Retouching Academy website. It's just a collection of the shortcut, nicely put in a panel which can be very handy. As I mentioned, the beginning of my workflow didn't change. After cleaning the skin, I'm moving on to dodge and burn. I'm using my own actions for it. I've released a video on how you can create your own dodge and burn actions and I will link it in the upper corner here. If you haven't seen, you can go check it out after the end of the video. While we are at it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future uploads. After the micro dodge and burn part is over, I'm using a contour script from the new MOA retouching panel as I mentioned before. And after that a glowing skin from the original retouching academy panel for creating a little more natural highlights. Moving on to local skin color correction, uh, reducing yellows and redness from hands and ears and other parts of the face, which the MUA retouching panel makes super easy. After quick enhancement of the eyes and fixing the makeup, I'm moving on to the teeth whitening script from a retouching academy panel, together with additional grey layer to clean the teeth further. Whenever you use a grey layer for a quick dodge and burn, you need to keep in mind that this is a very powerful tool, so keep your flow quite low. I'm running quick hair highlight script to give a dimension to the braids and moving on to liquify. I'm planning on releasing a liquify video which will be a full guide on how I use liquify to enhance beauty images so if you're interested in that please leave me a comment so I know it will be worth creating. After the liquify is done I'm paying more attention to the lips with a quick dodge and burn layers and a simple empty layer turned into color blending mode to even out the colors. Before I move on to color grading, I'm also running another dodge and burn layers for the skin just to touch up and get rid of a few more imperfections. After I'm happy with how the skin and the makeup looks like, I'm moving on to color grading with the infinite color panel. I absolutely love this panel and I would recommend it to anyone, especially if you're struggling with the color grading because infinite color panel makes it super easy. You just hit the create button until you are satisfied with how the color grading looks like. When I'm happy with my color grading, I'm moving on to the last step and that is the final touches with the dodging and burning layers just to make sure everything is perfect and I am absolutely happy with the final image. If you are guys interested in more in-depth video about retouching panels and infinite color panel, 
let me know in the comments and I can create a video for you and talk more about the details. Also, if you want to see a full length retouching video with using a retouching panels and an infinite color, one is available on my Patreon page, link in the description. Thank you very much guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you here next time. Bye!